uh, wisdom and guidance and counsel so that we might be able to develop a better community and better relationships one with another. Amen? Would you turn with me to hymn number 274, which seems to be very appropriate for such a time as this. Solid rock. My hope is built where? Nothing less, Nothing less than what? Jesus' blood and his righteousness. Now, uh, just to give you a quick snapshot, you know that this is all, we are already in the month of March. Amen. Already. Wow, wow. And uh, it just so happens that this year, Easter is in March. Mm -hmm. We are going to, I've already gotten called, and folks that want to want to slot in, in the uh, uh, Good Friday services and things of that nature. So with the, uh, the uh, uh, PDM, we're going to be talking about a little bit of that next week because we need to lock down the schedule and uh, other things such as that. But I am going to do a backdoor approach this week. Now, you know, usually when we're starting to approach uh, Easter, we, we start moving up towards different events. But I want to I go a back to approach because today mm -hmm. I want to start after he's been risen Amen. and show you some of the things that were taking place which should show us why mm -hmm. we should take it serious. Amen. Amen. Amen? It should show you why we should take it. God serious. All right, my hope is built where? Nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. Don't sing that thing like you make me me this. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I did not trust the but I hope we on Jesus' name. On Christ the Son, we understand all other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. Yeah. 
But if you and I start wibbling and wobbling and slipping and sliding, we're going to find ourselves in some very unsavory territory. Even as the testimony that we need to be praying for someone who... See, you, you and I need to recognize and realize that it's so important that we stay in the text. Uh, the Bible says that there's nothing new under the sun. Amen. And if there's nothing new under the sun, when you and I start listening to and hearing all these newfangled ways of doing things, you need to recognize and realize that even Lucifer, who was the most beautiful, the most powerful angel that God ever made, turned around and said, shut, this ain't enough for me. I want to be like the most high. I want to be God. So let me see. Uh, the Bible also describes him as an angel of light. Mm -hmm. And the Bible describes him as the great deceiver. Yeah. And a whole lot of other things. And I know that if I say what I'm about to say, somebody going to get a little frustrated if they see it out there in cyberspace. But let me tell you something. There's medicines out there that we need to take. And there's some other things. But mm -hmm. you better be careful with that. what they call pseudo. Pseudo is false. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? Hey man, there's a lot of gummy bears and a lot of gummy this and a lot of gummy the other. And, and there's a lot of what they call medical this and medical that and medical the other. Hmm. Well, where do you think they got the bad stuff from? They're trying to imitate the good stuff. Hey Amen. And I know that in the organization that I work for, yeah, they might have passed the law that say you hmm. got medical stuff, but we didn't change our process. We did not change the procedure. And you had better be careful if you are looking to try to use that as an excuse. Some folks just don't buy it. Well, Amen? Right. Good morning. Good morning. Building on a sure foundation, upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Matthew 16, 18. For other foundation can no man lay than that to the slave, which is Jesus Christ. First Corinthians 3.11, building faith, family, and fellowship on the principles and promises of God's word. We want to welcome our visiting friends, and we trust that you have been blessed being in our presence, and we are always happy to have you with us. Our thought for the day comes from Jesus calling. I love you for who you are, mm. not for what you do. Many voices view for control, view for control of your mind, especially when you sit in silence. You must learn to discern what is my voice and what is not. Mm -hmm. Ask my spirit to give you this discernment. Many of my children run in circles, trying to obey the various voices directing their lives. Mm. This results in fragmented, frustrating patterns of living. Mm -hmm. Do not fall into this trap. Walk closely with me each moment, listening for my directives and enjoying my companionship. Refuse to let other voices tie you up in knots. Mm. My, my sheep know my voice and follow me wherever I lead. Mm. Ephesians 4, 1 to 6, John 10, 4. Our key theme and verse for 2024. Together. Mm. If you don't be the visit Christ, see those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affections on things above, not on things on the earth. Colossians 3, 1 and 2. Let's refocus on the Lord. Don't take risks with your health and don't put others in jeopardy. Trust God. Depend on Him. Rely on Him. Pay attention to your surroundings and the numbers arising with the very Pastor James and Grace. Sunday, March the 3rd, 2024 is Missionary Day. With 8 a.m. with our Women's Fellowship. When worship began at 11 a.m. Sunday, March the 10th, 8 a.m. is our PDM, 11 a.m. morning worship. Holy Communion will be served following morning worship. Sunday, March the 17th, morning worship at 11 a.m. And Sunday, March the 24th, this Palm Sunday, morning worship begins at 11 a.m. Church, amen. Amen. As we continue in the spirit of worship, and as I've shared with you already, there are a number of serious 
issues that are happening. One of the things that I shared with several of those pastors and officers that I sat with on yesterday is how, you know, you and I are not saved just for Sunday service. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. If God saved you, and you are, and it's, incidentally, this is Missionary Day. Amen. 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 If God saved you, he saved you for life. Amen. Amen. There's not a Sunday that goes through or not a time when you and I might not meet when I don't try to remind <clears throat> us that if we're still here, we're on an assignment. <laughs> and our assignment, our primary assignment is to make Christ known, <laughs> to glorify him, to live for him. And, and it's important that you and I understand that that means in here and out there. Amen. On our jobs, in our neighborhoods, in our communities. Uh, newsflash, those that might figure that you're just about to go on vacation or one of those kind of things, you don't vacate God. Amen. 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 No matter where you are, he's there. You figure, well, you look around, I don't see my pastor, I don't see none of them deacons and them newsy deaconess. So I can go ahead and do what I want to do. But here's a news flash. Amen? The scripture says in Psalm 139, if you go to the east or to the west, if you go to heaven or if you go to hell, God did. He sees everything. Now here's another thing, you see. Your pastor ain't got enough time, enough hours in the day to follow you around. Amen. <laughs> but I can tell you this. The Holy Spirit knows where you are. Right and every so often while we're sharing or caring, and even as we were in conversation yesterday, oh, wow, you know, there are things that the Holy Spirit will bring out that will scratch you where you itch and bring conviction when you wrong. Mm -hmm. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Right. See, because it's important for us to understand that if we belong to Jesus, we belong to Jesus. And it doesn't matter where you are or when you're there. Amen? Amen. So it's important. Uh, I do uh, have to apologize as uh, for there was something... On Friday, now I'm in, I'm in running back and forth all over all these different things, and mm -hmm. what happened is I and I, and I caught it, uh, the calendar that we have made up so that we can track dates and things of that nature. Well, on the back of the bulletin, it, it reminds us that on the first Friday we have one year fellowship, but we didn't put it in those slots and. When the bullet, they just going to write down those slots. And I say, yep, I think I'm going to have to pencil that stuff in there so that we make sure it's in there. Amen? Amen. So that we can do a better job of, of plugging that in. Because if it's not in there, if you'll notice, it ain't going to be read. It's, we're not going to be reminded. But I will own the fact that it wasn't in there. And the fact that uh, if it wasn't in there, it wasn't on my personal calendar. And uh, uh, there are folks every single day, folks are trying to plug stuff in my calendar. <laughs> Amen. I'm sitting in the meeting on yesterday and folks grab me by the arms and say, look, I'm looking to see you tomorrow. So something's already plugged into my calendar for a meeting that is critical tomorrow. Amen. So y'all pray for us and pray that we might be able to do what God wants us to do because everything everybody else wants you to do is not necessarily where the Lord wants you to do. Amen? Amen. 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 Uh, that being said, there are a number of folks that we're still praying for. Mm -hmm. Now, in addition to that, mm -hmm. when you hear and see things going on in our community mm -hmm. and on the news, we need to be praying about that Amen. stuff. Amen? Yeah. Yeah. We really need to yeah. how in the yeah. world yeah. Yeah. do you just walk away from officers with your hands handcuffed behind you well, and you get away for all the days right. yeah. and nobody don't know nothing? How do you outrun officers mm -hmm. while you handcuffed behind yourself 
how is it that everybody bragging and boasting about, oh man, I got my stuff, and yeah, and everybody taking all these shots and pictures, and how is it that they, 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 they can see you mm -hmm. opening up a car and putting somebody in, and you running back and forth all over this place, and nobody don't know about them? Somebody, let me tell you something. Today it could be them. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow it could be you and me. Yeah. Yeah. We need to learn to be more careful and prep. Amen? Yeah. So that uh, uh, the person that could commit the crime, their life can be spared. Because what we're starting to see now is a lot of, of anguish and angst over the criminal that's doing the unjust thing. Well. And there's more noise made over them being penalized mm -hmm. than there are about the people that they are bruising. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And and while I was there with the officers, I'm standing, I, I don't know, they might have my picture already, because I'm I'm standing there looking at the camera and we stand there shaking hands and talking to each other and all that. But it's important that you and I recognize. God has you and I on service and on duty 24 7. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. God didn't save you just for the worship hour. All right. Man. And after the worship hour, well. you're on break. Well. You're on vacation. Well. You're going to do you. Well. Amen? All right. No, it don't work. That. And, and, and I would pray mm -hmm. that you would not want to serve a God. That will only hang with you hmm. when everything is, you know, the way you want it to be. Right. Amen? Amen. And, and if you happen to be moving in a direction of doing something that is counter God, he's just going to sit back and, and turn his head and pretend like it don't exist. And then you start crying, like, hey God, where were you? Oh no. That's not what we need. We need to give God his grace, his glory, his honor, mm -hmm. and our obedience. We're going to be talking this morning about demonstrating courage and conviction. Mm -hmm. Demonstrate. Amen? Amen. And say talking about it. Well. Say demonstrate. Look, look how them folks got all upset at the Phillies. Uh, right? Well, folk all upset. Anybody heard about that? Huh? They all upset. Used to give them one dollar hot dogs, and now when they gave them to them, they threw them at them because they got mad because of the way the game was. Now they say, "Well, we ain't gonna get no dollar hot dog no more." So what happened? Huh? Can you imagine the grace of God? All right. Well, you didn't want you didn't want my blessing when I gave it to you, so I'm gonna hold it back. Hey God, I don't like you anymore. Come on, guys. All right, man. Let's pray. Thank you. Merciful God, Father, we realize that we are living in some trying times. Jesus. And uh, these things should not catch us off guard because you told us in your word that in the latter days the love of many would begin to wax cold. God, there are folks that are stepping back. There are folks that are stepping to the left. And to the right, there are folks that are abandoning you. Even during the time that Jesus walked the earth, he had to ask his disciples and many others that he said, will you uh, 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 step away and would you stop following me too? Father, we pray this morning that you would touch our hearts and our minds and help us uh, by forgiving us, Lord, as we confess that there are times, Lord, when we're not as aggressive yes. and there are times when we're not as, as yes. committed as we should be. But we pray, oh Lord, Thank that you. by your spirit you yes. will touch our hearts, our minds, and our yes. spirits yes. so that, Lord, mm -hmm. we can continue Jesus. to draw nigh, as the Hebrew writer said, mm -hmm. draw nigh unto you with a full assurance of faith. Father, we pray for those that are sick, bound in the hospitals, and we pray for those that are confused. We pray for those that are bewildered. We pray for those that are, 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 are being, being set upon by yes. enemy forces. Yes. Yes. We pray, oh God, that we might pray a hedge about them so that the hedge would hedge them in and hedge evil out. 
We pray, O oh God, that you would strengthen and encourage us. And we pray that, Lord, as we are in this season where, where we're anticipating that walk down Calvary Road, yes. Yes. we pray that the minds and the hearts of men, women, girls, and boys would be open. And open in such a way that, Lord, we will see with mm -hmm. freshness yeah. why you sent your son. Oh, you said you loved us so much that you mm -hmm. gave him. And he gave his life that we yeah. might have eternal life. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we thank you and we pray, oh God, mm -hmm. that you will touch the words of our mouths and the meditation of our heart. Yes, Lord. That they may be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Oh, I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. If you will, turn with me to Acts, the book of Acts, fifth book in the New Testament. The book of Acts, and chapter 4. Mm -hmm. Acts chapter 4. Acts chapter 4. We want to talk about demonstrating. A small, two-letter, uh, five-letter word yeah. for demonstrating could be doing. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Doing. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. You might believe certain things, but are you doing what you believe? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Demonstrating courage and conviction. Demonstrating courage and conviction. In Acts chapter 4, in Acts chapter 4, I want to uh, read uh, a few verses and then we're going to sort of drop anchor and discuss some things showing from various other passages that the scripture says that, 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 that the word of God is not bound and, and that if God has something to say here, well, he'll repeat it over there. He'll give more insight over there so that we don't have to play the game of is this real and is it not. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm very much uh, concerned about uh, those that are being led down this blind path that just because they have these... Uh, Declarations of medical this and medical that. Do you know that on the federal level, I believe, I believe it's on the federal level, they gave some credence, but not necessarily on the state level. Mm -hmm. So now you got this law against that law, mm -hmm. and you figure, well, I, you know, it's legal. This is legal. But then, on the other end, it's not. Well, well. Amen? See, you, we, we going to see that. And I, I did not, I want you to know, I did not pay for that testimony. <coughs> I said God knows what he's doing. Well, amen. God brings things out, and, and all it does is it validates what is already targeted for this day. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Um, when I ended my career, I was a safety professional. And all that kind of stuff came right straight through. Mm -hmm. The investigations, right straight through. The teaching and the training, right straight through. Feeling sorry for folks, that's not the thing that I was trained to do. Mm. I was trained to warn them. I was trained to train them not to. I was trained to train them to avoid. And we're going to see that in the text. Mm -hmm. In Acts chapter 4, let me give you some context. For those that remember that in Acts chapter 3, and, uh, and, and the church had just been birth on the day of Pentecost when Peter preached and, and, and he preached and all those folks from all over the place they began to hear uh, the word of God in their own languages and they began to get a better picture and a better understanding of where God was going. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
And you and I need a better understanding of what God is expecting from us. Mm -hmm. Because things are different today than they were when we were children. Amen. 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 Uh, uh, I, I keep repeating over and over now, folks are so disturbed. I heard another testimony about how uh, these thieves, and I heard that testimony. I'm sitting in a group, and on my way to the meeting, they were talking about the Kia boys. They call them the Kia boys. And there was a bunch of them, and they go in, and they got the hoodies and all that kind of stuff. I want you to think about something. Before the pandemic, we weren't allowed to wear hoods. Especially us. Amen? But then after the pandemic, then anybody can cover up your face and all that kind of stuff. And, and, and these Kia boys, they would load up in this thing, and they'd move into these... These areas and the thing that picked up, they picked up on, was they saw this flood of them getting out of these vehicles, and they were all covered up, and then they would run through and they would snatch these cars and go on about their business. Well, the church had been birthed, mm -hmm. and now folks don't want to hear what God has to say. Well, and they were under persecution and all those things. Well, in chapter three. The Bible says Peter and John, they were on their way into the worship center, and there was a man that was sitting out there, and this man had been, uh, uh, you know, he couldn't walk. So uh, he looked up, and he was shaking and looking for alms, and, 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 and at this particular point, God told them to focus on him. And as they looked on him, Peter and John said, uh, look on us. And the man looked on them, and he said, silver and gold have I none, but what? Such as I have. Amen. Amen. Uh, you might yeah. you might come here yeah. looking for financial blessings well, this morning, but well. but you know God gonna have to give it to you because I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> what happens is they touched him. Mm -hmm. He locked in, and and when he locked in, mm -hmm. God sent heal. Yes. See, a lot of times we lock in, mm -hmm. and we're looking for God to do one thing, but mm -hmm. God does something else. We're looking for God to give me a quarter or a dollar and a half. Yeah. And, and, you know, when I was growing up, man, I grew up right around here and right up at the next block. You know, I was, I was, I was stingy. And, and, and some of my friends, they used to call me tidy. And they would, uh, uh, I'd never forget how they turn around, they walk up and they throw uh, a dollar on the ground and they tell me to step on it and give them, you know, $10 change. They want me to change it up with for them. But what I'm saying is that God might not give you a monetary blessing. Right. He might give you, watch this now. I heard somebody say, hmm, the training was free. And I got the training. So at least if a job shows up, well, I got what it takes to get it. Are you understanding what I'm saying? See, God can bless you in all different kinds of ways. So this man was sitting there. And, 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 and they said, uh, silver and gold we don't have, but such as we have, we give up to you. And he received his healing. He jumped up, he began to praise God, he began to run all over the place, and what did they do? Oh man, that wasn't nothing but an open door for them to keep talking about Jesus. Amen. So now we see in chapter 4, there's some uh, follow-up going on. Beginning with verse 1, and, and as they were speaking to the people, the priests and the captain of the temple of the Sadducees came unto them, upon them, greatly, what? Annoyed, disturbed in one translation, amen? Mm -hmm. Because they were teaching the people and proclaiming where? In Jesus, the resurrection from the dead, amen? amen. See, that's why I say uh, 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 you, I, I have talked to people that put more confidence in YouTube than they do in the Word of God. Yes. Amen? So, so if I say that certain things, according to the Word of God, say this, they're going to go to YouTube and try to see if they can't find a contradictory opinion, and they're going to lock in on what YouTube has to say, regardless of the fact that God has preserved his word for all this time. Amen? Mm -hmm. All right, just, that, just, just, just something I thought I'd say. Verse 3, they arrested them. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Why did they arrest them? Because they were preaching Jesus. Mm -hmm. They arrested them, put them in custody until the next day, for it was already evening. All right? But many of those who heard the word did what? Believe. They believed. 
And the number of the men uh, came to be about what? Five. Five thousand. So this wasn't no small yeah. incident. Right. Are you hearing me? Amen. I need you to know and yeah. understand well. that regardless of what you think of yourself, if you're doing what God wants you to do, yeah. God can blow your mind yeah. with the impact that you can have, yeah. you as an individual. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? See, the Bible says there was some 5,000 that were impacted. Verse 5, the next day their rulers and elders and scribes gathered together in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest and Caiaphas and John, Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly family. And when they had set them in the midst, talking about the disciples, they set them in the midst, they inquired, by what power or by what name did you do this? Amen. Mm -hmm. See, now some of us, we might get a little nervous because mm -hmm. my boys are circling around and I don't want them to know mm -hmm. that the reason I'm successful today well. is because Jesus came into my heart. Y'all, you understand where I'm going? Mm -hmm. See, so we might play that thing down. We won't let them know it's all about Jesus. Amen. Right. See, when we come to the testimony service, yeah. we, you know, Jesus is Lord in my life. He is the head in my life. But then, when we get back on the cone, watch out. Now. Well. Jesus don't get his props. Mm -hmm. I need you to understand where I'm going. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Verse, uh, uh, verse uh, 8. Now, this is what happens if you are demonstrating courage and conviction. It says, verse 8, Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said unto them, Rulers of the people and elders, If you are being examined, if we are being examined today concerning what? A good deed done to a crippled man. By what means this man has been healed? Let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that what? By the name of Jesus Christ. Christ of Nazareth. Now I want to hold that for us right there for a second because I want you to see where courage kicks in. He turns around, looks them straight in the eye, and he says, whom you crucified. Did you hear that? All right, all right. The same Jesus that you crucified. Well. The one that you rejected. The one you don't want nothing to do with. Whom God raised from the dead mm -hmm. by him. This same man is standing before you, and he's what? Verse 11. Jesus is the stone that was what? Rejected by you. Huh? The builders, which has become the cornerstone. And there is salvation in, this is a, a verse that everybody should grab hold of and, 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 and bury it in your bosom. There is salvation in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. And I don't have to apologize for that. You know why I don't have to apologize? Because God put it in his word. And God said that his word would not return to him void. Amen. Amen. They've been trying to get rid of it. They've been trying to distort it. They've been trying all they have in all different kinds of ways. But God is a keeper of his word. He said, heaven and earth shall not pass away until what? It's all been fulfilled. Amen. Verse 13 is very important to us. Now, when they saw the what? Boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were what? Did anybody see that? Yeah. Did anybody see the fact that the Bible says yeah. that the boldness that they received, the courage that they received, the convictions that they received did not come from Bible school. It did not come from seminary. It come because the scripture says when they saw them and they saw the way they carried themselves, when they saw the way they can, you know, there's somebody I've been trying to get to go to school right now, but they cutting up now. They got such a powerful testimony. Don't drop your head. They in the room. Yes, they are. And I'll look down so y'all won't know who I'm talking to. But their testimony is not because 
they've been indoctrinated in higher education. Well, well. The scripture says, yeah. when they saw the boldness of Peter and John yeah. and perceived that they were what? Uneducated. Mm -hmm. They were what? Common men. Mm -hmm. They were astonished and they recognized what? That they had been with Jesus. If I don't say anything else this morning, yeah. that's my goal. Yeah. That when you leave from this place, mm -hmm. when you live your life, I don't care if you tell them folks what church you visited today. Mm -hmm. What I want you to tell them is that I spent time with Jesus. Amen? Mm -hmm. See, it doesn't matter who's preaching or teaching. Well, you need to be in that word. Yeah, you yeah. need to be, be praying. Amen. You need to have your spirit yeah, lifted up. Yeah. You need to have your focus yeah. on the Lord so that when you leave this place, you can know without a shadow of a doubt that I have been with Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Amen? And even if he don't know what he's talking about, well, I read it for myself right, and because yeah. God made a promise that his word wouldn't return void, I've been in the presence of Jesus. Amen. Are you understanding Amen. what I'm saying? Right. See, 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 because mm. we are allowing ourselves to get tripped up. Mm. Let me see if I can give you another. I, 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 I'm, I'll chase a rabbit in a minute. And this morning, I'm going to chase me a little bit of a rabbit. Mm. Mm. Because of what God has laid before me. Mm -hmm. Think about this now. Mm -hmm. When Jesus was in the wilderness. Well, he went in the wilderness yeah. with his father, and the scripture says he was there to be what? Tempted of the devil. Yes. God saved you. Yeah. God came into your life. Well, God stirred things up. God brought change in the way you look, well, act, communicate, the way you carry yourself. And when God made all those changes, he never told you you would not be tempted. Mm -hmm. He never told yeah, you that yeah. the enemy would not come yeah. to try to drag you back into his camp. Are you understanding right. what I'm saying? Yeah. And when the scripture says yeah. that Jesus was in the wilderness, Satan came against him. How? Wow. With the word of God. All right, now. Go ahead. Go ahead. With the word. He took it out of context. Yeah. He pulled it out of his proper framework. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. they will give credence to this and credence to that. Mm -hmm. But is that what God said? Mm -hmm. Is that what God was trying to communicate? Mm -hmm. Well, he went to the creator of the universe. Go ahead now. Mm -hmm. huh? The Bible says that. You, 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 you see in Colossians where our theme verse is. Mm -hmm. Go back to chapter 1 and you'll see that Jesus himself is the one that created everything. You'll look in chapter 2 you'll see that Jesus is sitting on the right hand of the throne of the Father. Amen. Amen. And all yes. that is, yes. he's responsible for. Right, Yet and still, if Satan can go straight to <coughs> Jesus all right, we, we, and try to yes. manipulate yes. the word of God right, and manipulate right. the Son of God yes. to step away from obeying God so that he can come over and demonstrate something that is not of God. What make you think you can handle it? Right now. Go ahead. Say so. All right. are, are you Say understanding so. where I'm going to say? Help us, Lord. Addictions Amen. are deep. Amen. 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 And again, an addiction can trip you up. I infer. Everybody on the sound of my voice has an addiction. Amen. Amen. All right now. Say and you got an addiction that only one person can 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 cure you. All right, and his name is Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, who wants to argue with me? Help me, Lord. Who wants to challenge me and say, well, not me, Pastor. <laughs> I've been walking with the Lord for this many years, and I've done this, and I've done that, and I've seen this, and I've seen that, and he done delivered me here, and he delivered me there, and yeah. guess what? You still got some stuff he need to deliver you from, because you're addicted to sin. All right, now. Sin is in our nature. And you won't get rid of that till God snatches you from earth to glory. Yes, yes. God's got a path. See, yes. when I was working in the nuclear industry, and we come in every morning, we had to go. You know, see, they, they got them in the schools now. You know, you got to walk through the metal detector. You got to go through this. Well, I had to do that every day just to go to work. 
not just metal detector, but we had to go through radiation detection. Going in and coming out. See, when you and I get transformed, amen, All right. we get to leave this place and go home and be with the Lord, you're not stepping into glory with all your, your bad baggage. All right, now. You're going to go through a purging. Yes. God going to fix Thank you up. He's going to finally transition you. That's why in, in Luke uh, 16, I believe it is, the scripture says that when, 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 when Abraham was in the bosom of God and, and old, the old king turned around and asked if Abraham could stick his finger in the, in the water and, and, and cool his parching tongue because he was in hell yes. and he was looking up. He could see on the other side, but God said that there was a great gulf fixed so that he couldn't pass over. Are you understanding what I'm saying? My God. I love everybody under the yeah. sound of my voice right now. I love everybody that I'm looking at. But I, I, I can assure you of this. Jesus, Jesus. If you don't make the personal commitment to the Lord Jesus Christ so that he saves you. Mm -hmm. If Jesus comes back right, right now. now. Yes. And he, he's not coming down here knock on the door and walk through the congregation and tap us on the shoulder. Right. But the Bible says... That, that there's going to be a, a blast of the yes, trumpet and, yes. and the voice of an archangel and, and the Lord going to start calling folks. Amen. Right. And, and we're going to go from here to there. Yes. Amen. Yes. If you are not saved, don't try to drive no, grab nobody's ankle. Mm. Right. Okay. It ain't going to work. Yes. Because there's a gulf fix. Yes. Amen. Help us, Lord. Oh, let me get away from that right our text shows us that in the beginning of the church and all these things that are going on. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and the folks started persecuting it. And they are trying Amen. to do whatever they could to get the people of God mm -hmm. to not follow God. Mm -hmm. Amen? All right, all right. Anybody got your driver's license? All right, now. Amen. And you know what the speed limit says? Yeah. And then folks get behind you like, yeah, 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 yeah. What are they trying? They're trying to get you to go contrary to whatever the law says. Now here's the problem. You follow them. You may get in trouble. Now they don't know that you already got 15 points on your license. All right now, speak now. Amen. Amen. <laughs> they don't know they don't what your circumstances are. Yes, but if we allow it. We're going to get ourselves into a jam. Watch mm -hmm. this. Watch this. Right now. See, 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 see. What would you do in the circumstances that the children of Israel were under? Well, the Bible shows about Gideon. Gideon was approached by the angel of God, and he wrestled with the same issues as he was trying to come to some kind of conclusion as to whether he would be courageous. All right, now. And, 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 and have conviction. Amen. So what are your personal convictions? Go ahead. If you find yourself in a situation like well, that, what well, are your personal convictions? Yeah. When Goliath, the giant, threatened the soldiers of Israel, the Israel, they laid down in the bunkers and they filled with fear. Mm -hmm. What were your mm -hmm. convictions? Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. All this stuff coming for, for years, they said, just say no. Amen? And apparently that didn't work for a lot of folks. All right, man. So they got to have some new convictions. They got to have new courage. I heard somebody testify about uh, 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 the bullying issues. Mm -hmm. now, uh, Friday, here again, like I said, God delivers what we need. All right, yeah. You don't know mm -hmm. that Friday I spent time in a, a Christian bookstore and I bought a whole series mm -hmm. of books. They're all set up, and they are all written up about all those topics. Vandalism, stealing, mm -hmm. bad language. And the very first one that caught my attention was bullying. Why? Because I know somebody that is in their young life starting to face those things and how they made decisions. And it's written as a nice little cartoon, and on every other page they got Bible verses to show. Uh, are you understanding where I'm going? Right. I'm talking about courage yes, yes. and conviction. I'm talking about demonstrating courage and conviction. Mm -hmm. So we sit there and we see our children struggling, but we will not take the time to yes. talk to them. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. Okay. 
and, 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 and I, let, me, let me just throw this out there. I don't care if you don't like me no more. But some of the stuff that you and I allow to be played on the TV in front of the children that we're trying to help or yes. trying to, 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 to help them to think differently. And all they see is all their heroes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. They even gone so far as the name of Sheroes to them. Yes. No, I'm not, I'm not playing a game. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you what's actually, actually out there. Mm -hmm. See, because these disciples walked into a set of circumstances. Wow. It got them arrested. Now, they didn't get arrested to stay locked away forever. They got arrested just to keep overnight so that the word won't keep spreading. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Satan wants to trip you and I up so that what? We will not have positive influence. On the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. Joshua also was one, mm -hmm. and, and 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 what did God tell him? He said, Joshua, Moses, my servant, he did. All right. But now it's you, mm -hmm. and the thing I need you to do is what? Be strong. Mm -hmm. Verse six, mm -hmm. of good courage, mm -hmm. and, and for unto the people, this people shall you divide for an inheritance the land that I swear unto your fathers. Only this is what I need you to do: be what strong, strong. and what. Very courageous. Amen. You see, don't miss the mark. All right. I want you to understand that courage mm -hmm. and convictions mm -hmm. are two things that you and I need to make sure that we have. All right. You might have conviction. You might believe it. But do you have the courage to live? Go ahead. Do you have the courage to live what God said you ought to live? Amen. Right. Amen. Do you have, you know, we were talking... And, and, and what's blowing my mind, uh, uh, I sit there and now we're at that stage in life where as you sit there and you start talking and then you mention something here and then your kid's head turns around and I say, yeah, you know. Uh, and, and we were looking at this commercial about cancer and lung cancer and all this other kind of stuff. And, and the one guy said, yeah, don't believe all the hype. Say, say because if they'd have told me Mm -hmm. that, 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 that cigarette smoking would give me this kind of problem and that kind of problem. I wouldn't have did all of that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And when I mentioned to my son, I said, yeah, I thank God that, that I was delivered from cigarettes in July of 1976. Mm -hmm. And his head spun around. But here's something that also spun. And I didn't let him know that I was spinning. He said, well, when I stop smoking, <laughs> are, are, you, are you understand where I'm going? See, if we don't have courage and the conviction of, uh, and, 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 and share and communicate these things, we don't know where they at. We don't know what kind of pressures they are under. If, as your pastor, I don't mention this stuff, ain't no telling what's going on behind closed doors. Courage, by definition, is a mental or mental or moral strength to venture, persevere, or withstand danger, fear, or difficulty. It's to have the fortitude to say no. It's to have the fortitude not to just say no. It's to have the fortitude to be able to say, well, you know something, if I lose you as a friend, amen, I'll still pray for you. I'll still love at you. I'll still love you from a distance. I'll still trust that at some particular point, God will catch you yes. and snatch you out of the situation and yes. circumstances you're right. in. But, I've got to have the courage to say we need to put some space between you and I. Mm -hmm. well, are you understanding that? Mm -hmm. And then conviction is a strong mm -hmm. persuasion or belief. Mm -hmm. It's the state of being convicted. Mm -hmm. All right? That there, there, there are various New Testament believers that are bursting from the upper room with a fresh charge from God, with new empowerment, the Holy Spirit now working in and living in them, prompting them the ways that they didn't even understand. So listen to grown-up Peter. Grown-up Peter says in 1 Peter chapter 2, that as newborn babies we need to desire mm -hmm. the sincere milk of the word of God. That we might grow their body. So, what do you mean, Pastor? Uh, you 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 chasing another rabbit? No, I'm not chasing a rabbit right now. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you point blank. Peter, after Peter was all grown up and he wrote this other passage, he says, if we are as newborn babes, if you see a newborn babe, you know they should have a desire. They should develop an appetite. And if you save and you claim you save and you don't have an appetite for God, you need to question or, or re-examine your salvation statement. Amen. Amen. He says they ought to have a desire. They ought to desire the milk of the word of God. Why? So that they can grow. Amen. See, the real key for real discipleship mm -hmm. is the desire to mm -hmm. obey the Lord. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? All right. See, 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 without, without a desire, amen, a seasoned saint without, if you're a newborn, or a seasoned saint without a desire to grow, or without a desire to engage, mm -hmm. or without a desire to obey the commands mm -hmm. of the will of God, mm -hmm. you go nowhere. Yeah. You're just standing there blowing smoke, mm -hmm. spinning your wheels. Amen. Mm -hmm. So when you fall and when you fail, mm -hmm. it was designed that way. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you had no desire. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. When you think about the parable of the seed and the soil, mm -hmm. the seed was the same Amen. for all those different yes. elements. Yes. You got the, the good ground, you got the thorny ground, yes. you got the wayward, yes. and then you got the stony. <coughs> you know, the seed was the same. Amen. It was the soil. Yes, so if you have no desire for God, you really mm -hmm. have no birth mm -hmm. in God. Mm -hmm. So when you start telling me that he's the Lord in your life, mm -hmm. and I see that there's no change, mm -hmm. there's no desire, there's no appetite, mm -hmm. there's no concern, mm -hmm. there is no, if, if I don't see any of the marks of what God says a saved person should look like, well, I need to keep evangelizing you. All right, all right. Amen? Amen. Amen. Second, there needs to be a determination to submit to the will and the ways of God. As the church was coming out of under siege by the resistors and those that were engaging in anti-Christian movements, it became apparent that we need to stand fast and firm in our convictions in order to live for the Lord. The text is real clear. First of all, there are challenges. Where do challenges come from? Challenges come as a result of our obedience to the Lord. Amen. Amen. All right. When we start obeying God, God starts changing your life. All right. God starts changing your attitude. Yes. God starts changing your ways. Yeah. Uh, this, 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 this whole nuance was built around a young man that for many years of his life, and believe it or not, this man was 40 years old. Well, Take a little note. Verse 22. He was 40 years of age. Mm -hmm. and, in, and he was a 40-year-old man mm -hmm. that could not walk. And what happened? He was sitting out there begging alms. Yeah. But when Peter said, look on us, mm -hmm. and he looked on them, mm -hmm. and, and he caught their hand, he said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. Amen. Amen. See, what happened was, yeah. although you and I don't see well, it, Right. There was something going on on his yeah. inside. Yeah. His heart was changing. Yeah. His attitude was changing. Yeah. His mind was locked in on what Peter was saying about God. Such as I have, give I thee in what? The name of Jesus. He saw Peter coming and going. Well, Peter was a fisherman. Everybody yeah. knew that. Amen. Mm -hmm. The folks that I grew up around here with, they know me. Amen. Right. They knew me then. But they can see that God has done something different. That's why when there's a real problem, folks will call and say, listen, I need to talk to you here and I need to talk to you well, there or whatever the case well, might well, be. Well. Why? Because if the challenge comes, amen, yeah. challenges are going to come because folks see that you are obeying God and they don't want to be bothered with that. All right, now. I have an expression the most miserable person in the world is not an unsaved person. All right. All now, you know, an unsaved person, they they, they, they grouchy, they grumpy, blah, 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 blah. Mm. but the most miserable person is a saved person that ain't living right. right. Because mm. 
The unsaved community, they can't trust them. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you claim that you're saved. Mm -hmm. And I don't see nothing in you that's any different than in me. Mm -hmm. And in the saved community, mm -hmm. well, where you going? Oh, yeah. See? They can tell the, that you're faking the phone. All right. So what happens is, uh, he sought to follow Peter and John into the sanctuary. See, the challenges came because once he believed God's yeah. messenger and the message they were giving, amen, yeah. and the life that they were now living, once they saw all those things oh, lining up, yeah. this man jumps up and he began to praise God. His whole testimony changed right then on the spot. Amen. All Scripture right. don't say nothing about him asking for no more money. All don't right. even seem like he might have lent his cup or left the cup for somebody else. Well, I don't know. Well. But he jumped up. He began to praise God. He began to go with them into the sanctuary. Mm -hmm. He began to rejoice in the Lord. He chose. You hear that? All right. He chose yeah. to praise God. Yeah. He began to live. He became a living testimony. Amen. Right. That's why we can talk about it today. Mm -hmm. They brought the opposition out of their secret hiding places. Mm -hmm. Ah, I want to make sure you understand what I just right. said. See, when you begin to live for the Lord, and you begin to, 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 to demonstrate that you're loving the Lord, and God mm -hmm. is working through you, those that oppose you, amen, at some particular point, you're going to force them to the surface. Well, mm -hmm. well. At some particular point, they're yeah. going to start identifying the fact that, hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, you're different. Uh, what's the matter with you? Mm -hmm. yeah, uh, and they're going to start offering you ways to yes. compromise. Yes. Amen? Yes. And, and, and if they're offering you ways to compromise, oh, come on, come on, go to, you know, why don't you just, just go down here with me, go down there with me, and then, yeah, 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 you want one of these? I was uh, at work one day, and we had the Christmas party, and I went down, and I fixed uh, my little platter, and I was going back to the trailer, and, and what they did is they, they got real slim. Yes. Amen. And, 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 and they took the, uh, I didn't see it, but, you know, you, you're pouring your drink out of a, a, a three-liter liter bottle of, of Coke and all that. And I'm walking, and you know, you're walking, and you got a cup, and this stuff, this stuff starts dripping, and it's filling my hand, and you know, you look down and touch. And let me tell you something. I don't know about you, but I wasn't saved so long that I did not recognize uh, um, what is that running cup? I knew what it was. When I tasted it, immediately it had to go out. But you see what I'm saying? See, see, your enemies, they, they'll, they'll get flushed to the surface. And they will begin to self-identify. Then there's convictions. What about convictions? The Bible says that after they pulled them out of jail at night and they slapped them down in the center of them, amen, well. what happens is... There are opportunities for you and I. There are blessings that are made available mm -hmm. to you and I well, if you just go along with the program. Mm -hmm. Isn't that right? All right? So the Bible said that Peter being filled with the Holy Ghost, when they turned around, they brought him out, and they wanted to know, uh, in what name are you doing all this? And Peter being full of the Holy Ghost, he turns around, and his convictions just spit all over the place. And he looked him right in the eye and said, say, say, we, we, we are preaching in the name of Jesus, the one that y'all crucified, the one that you rejected. Amen. All right, all right. Why do you go to church? I didn't just go to church. You know, let me go back to... Uh, see, I was gonna, I was gonna use an illustration that's right here in the house, but I, I, there's a Bible illustration that tells the same story. In John chapter four, the Bible speaks about the lady that was down at the well, yeah. and while she was at the well, and Jesus met her at the well, and then he began to talk to her, and and and, and then the uh, the Bible says that when Jesus started talking to her and started asking all these different questions, then he uh, uh, he he spit some conviction at her. He said, well, you know, she said, well, uh, he said, if you knew who you were talking to, you just ask and he'd give you, mm -hmm. what, living water. She said, well, give me that living water. I want it too. He said, well, go get your husband. She said, well, uh, 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 I don't have a husband. He said, well, now, now we can talk. See, I said, it'll flush things to the surface. 
He said, she said, well, uh, uh, he said, well, now we can talk. Why? He said, you had five, and the one you got now, he ain't your <laughs> So the Bible says she left. She went back to town. When she got back to town, the town's folks came out to see Jesus. Because when she got there, she didn't go there and pretend. She went and told him, said, come see a man that told me everything that ever I did. They went out there, and when they went to confront Jesus, amen, well, amen. See, yeah. they went out to confront him based on the convictions that he brought out in her, and they went to see him, and when he began to spend time with them, and the scripture says they wanted him to spend the night, they wanted him to stick around. And what happened is when she shows up, when they talk to her again, they say, uh, uh, we believe not because of what you say. Amen. But we've seen him for ourselves. Amen. Are, are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. See, see, I didn't show up because of what you said, but I heard the word for myself. I read the word for myself. And God spoke conviction in my heart for myself. And because God is speaking and encouraging me for myself. Now I have convictions. Now I will take a stand. Now I will let folks know that I, I, I love the Lord. And what's that song we used to sing? And I won't take it back. Amen. See, see, God is 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 bringing strength in my inner person. Well, God is teaching me now how I can pray. He's teaching me now yeah. how I can love upon Him so that He can continue to work His work in me. There's a, a verse that says we love Him. Why? Because He first loved me. The conviction kicks out. There comes a time in our lives when we need to take a stand. Uh, have you reached that point? What do you believe? What do you really believe? Those are the stands you need to take. What do you really believe? Do you really believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Do you really believe that He died for your sin? Do you really believe that, as the Bible says, He's coming back again? Do you really believe that to be absent in this body, I can go home to be in the presence of the Lord? See, God done said it. God done promised it. And there's enough evidence to prove it. Amen. Bible goes on to show that Peter and John, after they healed the man, they disturbed the leaders enough. Amen. All right. The scripture said they were greatly disturbed. Amen. Mm -hmm. And when they disturbed those folks, they, 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 they got them so shook up that what they wanted to do, they wanted, to, they wanted these guys out of there. Then there's commitment. Now I want you to write these three words down or see if you can't lock them in your memory. And these three words tie in with what I'm saying about commitment. It's a confident, courageous conviction. Mm -hmm. Confident, mm -hmm. courageous convictions. That's my summary of convictions. Amen? A commitment, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. See, they must be lived out. The Word of God needs to be lived out. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You see that very clear in verse 13. Uh, uh, in verse 13 it says, When they saw the what? The boldness of Peter, yes. amen, and John, and they perceived that they were what? Uneducated. Mm -hmm. People look at you, and you know, there used to be a song we used to sing, mm -hmm. old, old gospel hymn. I look at my hands, my hands look new. I look at my feet, my feet do too. Uh -huh. yeah. Let me tell you something, I've been saved for a week or two. And my hands still look like my hands. Uh -huh. All right. My feet still look like my feet. Well, But what they are referencing mm -hmm. is what my hands do. Yes. Where my hands go. Mm -hmm. Where my feet go. Yeah. Are, are, are you understanding right. what I'm saying? Right. There was uh, years ago when I used to work with my dad. And my dad went to work one day. And uh, the guy said, Ernie, Ernie, was that your son that got shot in that bar down there in, in West Philly last night? He said, uh, uh, what's his name? They say, uh, James Graves. He said, what's his name? They said, James Graves. He said, not that one. What was he saying? He was saying that my hands don't go there no more. Well, my feet don't go there no more. See, we're talking about confident, huh? Mm -hmm. Courageous conviction. Mm -hmm. See, my life had been transformed. Mm -hmm. My habits have transformed. 
my attitude had transformed. So no, that ain't my stomping ground anymore. Are you understanding what I'm saying? He said they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and they perceived that they were what? Uneducated, yeah. untrained men, yeah. and they marveled. They were astonished. And they realized, well, what did they realize about him? I want to realize that you've been in the presence of the Lord. Oh, All right. would you listen to the way they talk now? They don't cuss every other word like they used to. Oh, they don't run around trying to spy spyball everybody that they can see. You see, I make up words every now and then. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. So, so, so what's happening, well, and in verse 14 it says, seeing the man mm -hmm. who had been healed standing with them, yeah. they could say nothing against it. The guy that got his healing, mm -hmm. you don't want to run with him by, with, with, by himself no more. Have you ever seen folks get saved and then they run away from the Lord? Okay. Have you ever seen folks... Y'all don't believe that? Right, Y'all don't believe that? Right, Didn't the Bible say that there was ten lepers? Yeah. And ten lepers yeah. had the same problem. Yeah. They had the same disease. Yeah. They all went to Jesus. Right, yeah. and, and, and they, they asked him, could they, had, could, could they help him? Yeah. And Jesus said, well, yeah. go show yourself to the priest. All, right, all ten yeah. of them walking down the highway right, going to yeah. show themselves to the priest. Uh, and, and while they were in transit, you see, the bottom line is if you're trusting God, God yeah. will change you and you yeah. don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. God will change yeah. your language, He will change your yeah. attitude, yeah. He'll change your mindset, He'll yeah. change all that stuff while you're in the process. And while they're walking down the road, they were changing. And the Bible says, and I'm convinced in myself that all of them knew that they got changed. All of them knew that they got their healing. But all, oh man, they, they're going to try to get down to the priest so they can lock that thing in. Huh? But the Bible says, one of them, just one, he turned around. And he went running back to Jesus yes. to thank him, thank to Lord. praise him, to glory. See, see, yes. see, he wanted it to be known, Lord, yes. I see what you've done for yes. me. I know, hallelujah, yes. I know what yes. you've done in yes. my life. Yes. I know what you're trying yes. to accomplish yes. in my yes. life. Yes. And as he went back to the Lord and the mm. Lord saved him and, 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 and did this job in him, you need to remember, oh, see, God. see, see, that in this commitment that God, Paul told Timothy yeah. in uh, 2 Timothy 2, 8 and 9, well, remember that Jesus Christ of the seed of David, yeah. he was raised from the dead, right. what? According to my gospel. Right. Then he says in verse 9, wherein I suffer, I, I, I suffer trouble as an evildoer, but mm. you remember, even unto bonds, but what? The word of God is not bound. Right. There are people that are trying to bind you. All right now. Folks in situations that are trying to tie you down. Yeah. Try to get you to turn your back on the God mm -hmm. that just delivered you. Amen. Amen. You know, folks turn around and say, oh my goodness, you don't drink no more. Why, why, why you don't drink no more? <laughs> oh, I just woke up one morning and I just decided. You ain't decided nothing. <laughs> God took it from yeah. you. God delivered you. All right. God broke the cycle. Yes. Are you understanding what All I'm right. saying? Thank so, you. so, 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 my conclusion is that yes. that 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 when you're going through Amen. and you're trying to demonstrate your right. courage, you're trying to demonstrate convictions that right. God is changing and transforming yes. your life. What did Paul say? I beseech you therefore, brother, by the mercy of God, that you present your body. Present your body. Demonstrate your body. Demonstrate your lifestyle as a what? Living sacrifice. What? Holy, completely, absolutely unto God. And make sure that folks understand that that's just being reasonable. Right. Are you hearing me? All right, now. He said, and, and, and be not conformed to what? The, this world and continue to run like you used to run. Right. He said, but but be transformed by what? Make your mind new. How do you make your mind new? Let it hang with God. How do you make your mind new? Let the Holy Spirit begin to work on your inside. That song say, something on my inside, working on my outside, bringing about what? A change in me. And, and, and Paul goes on to say that we need to, even though we might find ourselves intimidated from time, he yeah. said, don't quit. You hear me now? Amen. Don't quit. But what? Be courageous. Yeah. Display and stand where? Yeah. In your convictions. Amen. Introduce and engage what? Amen. In collective prayer. Okay. In verse 29, same chapter. Mm -hmm. Notice what happens. Well, The Lord, be, be, be and, and, and now Lord, see, because Peter and the others, after they these guys... We're putting the pressure on them and tell them, don't preach in the name of Jesus no more. 
Peter says, Now, Lord, behold their yes. threatenings, yes. and grant unto what? Yes. Your servants, right. that with all boldness. You see, they start praying for more boldness. Are you hearing what right. I'm saying? Right. With all boldness, they may speak your word right. by stretching forth what? Yes. Your hand yes. to do what? Heal, yes. and right. that signs and wonders may be done what? Mm -hmm. By the name of the Holy Child Jesus. Verse yes. 31. And when they had prayed. Do you hear what I'm saying? Right. They got together. If somebody yeah. is bugging you, you trying to live for the Lord, they trying to drag you back, you better find you somebody right. that know how to get a prayer through. Oh, you better yeah. find you somebody oh, yeah. that is serious about prayer. Yeah. We sat in that prayer meeting yesterday. I mean, it was a powerhouse time. All right. And all the preachers and all the teachers and all the police officers yeah. and, and all those folks that were yeah. in that room yeah. and, and, and it was organized, it was well structured to say yeah. for this particular, we got this person praying. And for this, we got them praying. And for that, we got them praying. And then and, and they stop every so often. You have a little selection. And then you go right back into it. And, and we went right straight through. Yeah. He said the when they prayed, ah, the place was shaken yeah. where they were assembled together. And they were what? All filled yeah. with what? The yeah. Holy Ghost. And they spake the word of God have with boldness. Are you understanding what right I'm saying? Now. See, Amen. I don't need just one bold testimony. Right I need now. a room full of bold Amen. testimonies. Why? Right because if we go out of here yes. as a whole bold body, God is going to do something in this community. Right. God is going to do something Amen. in your house. God is going to do something in your home. God will do something on your job. God will do something in whatever area of ministry he may plug you in. Are you understanding right. what I'm saying? So, so, so the Bible is real clear about this thing. You need to recognize and submit to the ordained will of God. Here's something that you might not recognize. Mm. Amen. See, God has a way. You, anybody ever hate eminence? Mm -hmm. M&M's are, are, are good, isn't it, right? Mm -hmm. And then they spring a surprise on us. They put peanuts in something. Yes. yes. Have you ever noticed that when you get the one with the peanut, you still got chocolate in it, right. but now you got an extra surprise. Mm -hmm. Well, what happens is, in verse 26 through 28, same chapter, but truly against your holy servant Jesus, whom what? You anoint. Right? Peter talking to God. Both Herod and Pontius Pilate with the Gentiles and the people of Israel, they were gathered together. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Now, you need to understand how God operates. Amen. Because I don't want you to be surprised. If something strange happened to you, if you wind up in some strange testing, if somebody put some unusual pressure in your life, watch it. Look, look what the text says. It says, truly against your holy servant Jesus, whom what? You anointed both Herod and Pontius Pilate with the Gentiles, amen, and the people of Israel, they were gathered together. Verse 28, to do whatever your hand and your purpose determined to be done. Oh, you need to understand what God is saying. About it. Huh? Jesus was not crucified by accident. Are y'all listening to me? <laughs> Jesus was not he was not attacked by accident. If your enemy comes against you, it ain't no accident. Right. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Yeah. It's no accident. And that's why, as I said a moment ago, in verse 31, you need to get your prayer team in motion. You need to have them already organized. Yeah. So all you need to do is pick up the phone or shoot them a text. Hey, if you don't send nothing else but under fire, they ought to already know. It's already time to pray. Are you understanding what I'm saying? See, 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 these guys, and, and, and there's a whole lot of Peter stories and Peter incidences. And, and there was time when Peter was locked up in jail and, and, and God sent the angels and turned him loose. And, and he, he's out there and he ain't figured out how he got out there yet. Amen. But the people were praying. And then he knocked it on the door. And the folks that was in there praying... And, and the girls say, uh, Peter's at the door. They say, all right, get out of here, girl. You know, and they kept praying. Well, God answers prayer yes, even when you don't recognize it. Oh, oh, you understand what I'm saying today. Remember that sometimes you have to go through situations that are what? Ordered by God. For what reason? To draw attention to him. See, when God draws attention to him, 
It's not always for him. Mm -hmm. I want to conclude with this one illustration that you should be familiar with. When the Bible says that God promised Abraham a son. Abraham was a hundred years old when Amen. Isaac was born. Amen. And then when Isaac was taken, Amen, to be crude, his father told him to, to slay him. Right? And and he took him. And, 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 amen. Don't be scared, my sister. <laughs> and when Isaac took him and tied him up, and he was going to slay him. You see what I'm saying? Amen. This is what happens. God turns around mm -hmm. and interrupts it. All right. All right. Yes. Abraham was doing what God mm -hmm. told him to do. Amen. Amen. All right. Amen. He was doing what God told him to do. Mm -hmm. And what happens? God interrupts. Yes. Yeah. See what I'm saying? All right. See, some of the situations that you and I might get in, yeah. God will send you yeah. into them. Mm -hmm. To draw attention where? Mm -hmm. Not to you, but to him. Mm -hmm. Now, you say, well, wait a minute. He's sending me. How's that drawing attention to him? Number one, you listen to him. All right. Number two, you obey him. Number three, you are looking for him to do something. Mm -hmm. And what does he do? Yeah. He confirms. Mm -hmm. He crowns you with more wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. He gives you more insight. Mm -hmm. He draws you closer to himself. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because you obeyed him. Mm -hmm. And you obeyed him in doing what? Yeah. Demonstrating mm -hmm. courage mm -hmm. and conviction mm -hmm. to him. Lord, we thank you this day. And we know, Lord, that we are in some very perilous times. Lord, we are hearing and we are thinking. And even, even if we just think about, Lord, all that's going on overseas. How they're dropping loads of food just to feed folks. And folks are concerned about genocide and all these kinds of things. And Lord, although we see it happening over there, Lord, there's a lot of stuff going on right here in our own cities and states. In this country, in our communities, Lord, we pray. We pray that you'll help us to remember that we are your ambassadors. And we're on assignment and we have a responsibility, oh Lord, to make Christ known mm -hmm. by demonstrating yes. both conviction you, and our commitment, oh Lord, yes. to follow you through our convictions. Mm -hmm. We pray, Heavenly Father, that by your Spirit you will touch hearts and minds. We pray for those that might be on the fence. They might be straddling the fence. Why? Because things were going well for them, and then all of a sudden, Lord, calamity sets in. And there are times when calamity sets in, just like Gideon. Gideon say, well, well, if God is God, where, where are all those miracles that well, we, we've been taught all yeah, our lives? Where is yeah. all that provision? Where is all that protection? Uh, yeah. Lord, we know that you know that we are, are, are suspect and subject to yeah. doubt from time to time. Yeah. Sometimes, Lord, there is faithlessness. But, Lord, we thank you for your patience. We thank you that you are long-suffering. We thank you that you are aware of yeah. where we are and yeah. what we need. We thank you for the times, you, Lord, when you give us difficult assignments. And sometimes we don't yeah. understand what the assignment yeah. is. Yeah. Sometimes we don't understand why we have to go certain places and do certain things. Mm -hmm. But it's not for us. It's for you. And it's for your people. And Father God, in some instances... Is to develop us so that we can have the, the deeper sensitivity yes. to your word and your will. We pray, oh God, that under the sound of my voice, if there be any yes. that know you not in the free part of the sin, if there be any that has been doubting their salvation, if there's any, oh yes. Lord, that have been, been withering or, 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 or drawing back, that Lord, you'll draw them closer unto yourself. 
Give them fresh courage. Yeah. Fresh conviction. Yeah. Fresh confidence. Yeah. So that, Lord, they'll be able to stand. They'll be able, O oh Lord, to continue to grow in grace and in the knowledge yeah. of the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Lord, we pray for those that wow. might be wow. in the disciple world. We pray that you will help us to become so sensitive to you that we will be able to look at your word and show it in daily applications. Sometimes, oh God, I think we step back and we just treat your word like it's just another good story and we'll rehearse it certain times of the year. But Lord, these are not stories. These are truths and realities. You said in your word that the word of God is quick and is powerful, sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing even to the body and son, the soul, the spirit, the joint, and marrow. And it is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So God, when we're afraid, help us to draw strength from you. Father, when we lack trust or confidence, help us to trust in the Lord with all our heart, not leaning to our own understanding. Lord, help us to remember you said in your word, that uh, the steps of a good man are ordained of the Lord. So there are times when you might allow us to go through things. But help us to remember that, Lord, if we're following you, you've already promised you won't leave us and you won't forsake us. So by your spirit, O oh God, we say thank you. And every heart and every mind, point it toward the Lord. If there is one that does not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, you never say, hey, God, you know, I, I, I recognize, I've been hearing it all my life, that Jesus came into the world to seek and to save that which is lost. I've been hearing all my life, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, but have ever life. I've been hearing all my life that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But today, Lord, I recognize that that includes me. And if you recognize that that includes you, you want to make a personal confession of faith to the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to encourage you. Even right now. Amen. Even now. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sin and save me. Me, Lord. Ask the Lord to give you the confidence Bring those around you that can help you yeah, yeah. to grow in grace. Point you in the direction of a good Bible-believing, Bible-preaching, Bible-teaching church. So that you might be able to start your journey with hope, with confidence, with courage, and conviction. Father, as you're doing so, we will continue to give your name to praise, the glory and honor in Jesus' name. Our hearts to thank you. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's give God praise. I don't know, I might have to start cutting these uh, these testimonial services alone because y'all keep chasing me. You make me chase rats. Mm -hmm. I want to encourage you. I want to challenge you to challenge yourself. Say, hey God, when I read this particular passage, what is it saying? Amen. Amen. How can I apply this to me? Lord, I'm having this difficulty and I'm having that difficulty. Uh, how can I find answers to the issues that I'm facing on a daily basis? Amen. And God will not let you down. Sometimes he'll point you to a, a passage. I heard a testimony say, I was I was struggling with some things. All of a sudden I turned the radio on. Wow! There it is. Sometimes you might be riding down the street. Wow, you see a verse. You know, even in, in, in the Super Bowl game, did you see those Christian testimonies coming across? There? Mm -hmm. See, God is causing his people to stand up. Amen. There's no reason for you and I to be ashamed of who we are. We wear Nikes and we wear Pumas and all that. There's a uh, a designer that I live near, and he has he designs things that give out a message for the Lord. Amen. Sure. Uh, there's a sister down at Christian Stronghold that has a ministry like that as well. Amen. 
And and anybody want to say a word for the Lord and want to want to advertise stuff? See, we are going to be about the business of just trying to make Christ known. Amen. 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 Try to make Christ. Known. Amen. As we make preparation to worship the Lord by giving and prepare to depart. Again, we want to thank and praise God for all those that are present, those that are in the house. And I'll tell you something else. All the preachers and, and, and folks that we be uh, interacting with, they are looking for the same thing. They want their folks to come on back and give them a look. They want their folks to come on back and sit with them. Amen. 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 Y'all see that that that. that Mass choir that we use every Sunday. <laughs> Am I prophesying or what? <laughs> oh, magnify the Lord. Oh, he is worthy to be praised. Singing, oh. thank and praise you we pray that as we make preparation to go to our various destinations and whatever other worship services or commitments that we have for this day we ask oh god that you would be magnified we ask that you would be seen so that you and you alone are the one that draws the attention then oh god and our father we thank you for our gifts of worship we pray that you will help us yes, and be Lord. faithful in using them for the purpose for which they're collected. And Father, we will carefully give your name and praise. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling, presenting us faultless before your presence with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power. Let every heart say amen. 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 Let me just throw this one thing at you. When you start talking about Demonstrating, <coughs> demonstrating your courage and your convictions, you need to be careful what you got skipping on your car. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You need to be careful about it. Because if you're running around bragging and boasting mm -hmm. about God being Lord and Master of your life, and your car is filled with Johnny Walker red sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll just let that go. I think you got the message. Man. God bless you, saints.